Sexy Man uh, cello, formerly known as Sexy Man, world's sexiest rugby player. Well, he's a, he's a beautiful man, isn't he? Full stop. He's a beautiful man looks wise and a beautiful man as a person. Other than the fact he's probably the sexiest man in world rugby, which I'm sure every other player said. He's very good looking. I mean, everyone will probably mention that about Cello, <laughs> but he is and um, he doesn't try and he doesn't show off with it, which is probably annoying as well because you can't even get angry at him for, for being so good looking. He's a firm favourite of the boys and I'll tell you for why, because every time he asks you in the morning how you are, he actually means it. He wants to know how you are. And, he, and he's always got time to listen to how you are. Cello, it's, it's very sad for him to be leaving. Um, I actually remember when he first signed, myself and Will Fraser took him out for a few beers when he first uh, came to the club just before he joined. And from that mo moment, I knew what a signing this bloke's going to be. Obviously, we know how talented he is and how incredible he is as a rugby player, but the bloke that he is off it is just the nicest, most welcoming man. And uh, he genuinely cares about each individual. The best thing to describe him would be classy. Um, he's got time on the ball, he glides. He's got a brilliant step off his outside foot to beat people on his inside. A brilliant low chopper of, of a tackler. He's obviously got a great game knowledge as well. So um, I've always enjoyed being out there on the field with him. It's, it's, been, it's been good to play with. He's just class personified. He's a classy lad off the pitch and on it. He's, uh, he's definitely been one of, if not the best 13 I've, I've played with in the sense of just knowing what each of them are doing. He's, he's a pleasure to play outside of in defence and attack. And um, you won't find a nicer bloke and a better team player. I think from the moment he walked into the club, when we unveiled him, um, <laughs> which I think he's a little bit embarrassed about, but he's slotted in and been a brilliant addition to what we've done. And he's been a real asset over the time he's been there. Helping the young guys, I think a lot of people don't understand, see the, see the brilliant stuff he does on the pitch, but he's actually brilliant with a lot of the young guys, sitting with them, giving them their time, giving them his experience. And uh, as I say, yeah, he's been, been good fun to work with. Cello's been incredible, I think. Uh, as you say, uh, a nicer bloke you'll never meet. He always has time for people. He's a, a huge people person, um, really emotional in terms of how he connects to people, but he's been a fantastic attribute both on and off the pitch. He always put the team ahead of himself, and that's a really desirable trait and something that he can be very proud of. Oh, he's unbelievably tough. I think last year probably is a testament to that. He had two shoulder surgeries, um, loves a chop tackle. Um, and I think just the way he, he carries himself, you know, he, he's very unassuming, but he's very, very, very competitive as well. Incredible defensively, he's, he's I think probably the smartest rugby player, one of the smartest rugby players I've ever played with. In attack, he's you know, so skillful, he just, one of those annoying people that seems to have a huge amount of time on their hands no matter what they're doing. And he just makes the game look easy and you know, defensively he's fantastic and you know, we, all, we obviously have to talk about his kicking game as well and uh, you know, he, he just makes everything look so easy and uh, just a huge talent. It's going to be a different place without him. Um, he's had a massive impact on me, he's a good friend um, and I think overall he's just a real He's just got a great balance to life. On the pitch, he's just a smooth operator. And he's well, such a good bloke, I you know, named my dog after him. I think my best memory on the pitch with Cello was when he slotted that kick against Racing. You know, that was, that was, that was, that was awesome. Yeah, he's probably responsible for one of the iconic moments of the club with the, uh, the kick at, uh, against Racing Metro. Um, that was unbelievable in that, in that moment of pressure to execute that bit of skill. Best memory, obviously, kicking kicking us into a semi-final of Europe um, at Racing uh, in Paris. Never forget it, because it was on a beach. That was our chat beforehand. Even the lads when I went to climb up were talking about that kick, you know, because obviously I think it was the semi-finals of Europe and it was a yeah, huge occasion. Yeah, I think he, he reflects what we're all about uh, in and around the training ground. He's, he's um, most of the time he's, he's available to, to, to giving himself to younger guys, to anyone. He's, He's the same, um, and um, yeah, he's, he'll, be, he'll be massively missed. So yeah, he's a favourite man in, in our household, not just because of the person he is, but also because my missus fancies him. <laughs> <laughs>